Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some, excuse me, Europa Universalis 4 as Portugal in our Golden Century campaign. Last where we left off, we were going to attack Morocco. I'm actually kind of curious. Can I walk from here to here? I have no idea. Let's hope for the best. Ooh. Apparently, Tunis and Jarid have went to war. And Lemson as well. So these guys are all fighting each other. Well, isn't that my lucky day? Okay, so we actually probably don't need to have... Um, let's actually give this a second then. If these guys are going to go to war with each other, it's... Um, we could be curtail noble privileges or strengthen noble privileges. I usually go for this one just because the national tax modifier is nice. But the what what's really nice is their their influence going down. Um, that's that's super helpful most of the time. Okay, so if if um, if Lemson is sufficiently not willing to join this war, then we can we don't even have to call in Castile for this. Tunis should be able to beat Lemson. Who declared this war? Tunisian conquest of Biskra. Okay, so Tunis declared war on Tugurt. And oh, that's right. You're my you're my rival. Oh, that's right. I rival. Yeah, I rival that guy. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here for a second. Let's give this a second. In the meantime, let's have relations with the Castilians as well. Make sure do some favors with them. Okay. So we're on tech five. Uh, we just lost our general, unfortunately. 2-2-2, two, 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 not bad. Let's see. Well, I mean, I, I don't mind calling it Castile. That's fine. We're not going to give him anything anyway. You know? And I, I don't think I actually want to wait for this. Because I'm pretty sure Tunis and his allies are going to be focusing over here. But let's, I don't know, let's give it a second. What I'm hoping is Castile doesn't declare his own war. Because he's got claims of his own. You know what? Yeah, let's actually, before before anything goes out of our control, let's actually go and declare our own war. Damn it. Alright, so we can't get there. That's what I kind of thought. I figured that probably would happen. Unfortunately. Okay, so we got 29 days siege ticks here. We're going to be taking some attrition here, unfortunately. But um, let's see. Ooh, we can order a naval barrage from our navy. That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's try that. Yeah. Get a wall breach. It's free. Well, whatever. And... 30 decades. Yeah, I can use it. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to be attacked here. Castilians are going to join me. We have tech 5. Let's see. So we have more morale, equal discipline, equal tactics. Uh, we have more cavalry, more infantry. But we just have better pips. And I believe we have better shock modifiers too for cavalry and infantry actually. Yes, yeah, so we lost about 4,000 to kill about 9. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Let's see, water shortage. Okay. Whoa, it's a big navy. Okay, we're invading over here. Peasants are getting uppity. Yeah, I don't want to lose the legitimacy, at least. Not at this not at this moment. Um, can I go to Okay. Let's actually just just stay here. I think we're just gonna hang out here for a second. Let's wait for him to lock in, okay. Stack wipe? No. Okay, 
Okay, so we do need to take this probably. Unfortunately. So we took Malia and he wants it for himself. Okay. Wait, really? You want that for yourself? You bastard. So I think anything he occupies, he might probably not give it to me. It's unfortunate. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have to attach to me. He can he can yeah, he could be over there, Castile. Oh, we're gonna be attacked here in the mountains though. Ugh. Uh I've got do I have reinforcements coming in? Yes. Castilians were reinforced. We do unfortunately take the mines too though, because it's mountains. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Took some losses. I'm glad the Castilians were here, but fuck. It's painful. It is painful. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We reinforced. All right. Awesome. You motherfuckers. Yeah, because we don't reinforce fast enough. Yeah, that war exhaustion is painful. But after we take the capital, we should be almost pretty good to go as far as... As far as taking some territory and winning this war. Um, I mean, it'd be nice if we can get... If we can get Lumsden out of here real fast. Did... Uh, yeah, so England lost the war to Burgundy. That's what I thought would happen. I figured he would lose. Come on, dude. Take this fort. More exhaustion's getting there. Fucking shit, man. Come on. Oh my god. 35 days to each six. That's painful. It is. Hey, look at that. It's a march in Morocco. Saleh. It's a pirate republic. Interesting. It's kind of cool. So I got there first, which means I should begin the siege first. Yeah. So we can take that. We can take Saleh. Uh, that's actually pretty interesting. Let's see, what's, what is this guy's capital here? It's Dara. Is that all of his force? Uh, well, I mean, he's got the he's got the vassal forts, but they're not his forts. Oh, okay. King died. All right. How's that guy retreating to? Guessing over here somewhere. No, I don't want to take that. Let's see, Lumsden medium. Huh. So he's got garb. I think I think we might just take this stuff up here. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, we definitely need the money. 
Man's Exceed War Score. Um. So we could take this. We could release the uh, Vassal of Fez. Would I prefer a lump sum? No, the War Reps is worth more. I mean, I can use the money. We don't. Well, we don't really have that much debt. To be perfectly honest. I'd I'd rather take the territory. Okay, so let's um release a vassal, right? Would I really want to hang on to any of this? Yeah, so we can release Fez. We'll hang on to Tangiers for ourselves. Um, we'll get rid of that fort in Tangiers, I think. We don't need it. We will keep the one in Ceuta, though. Let's go release Fez. He's a vassal. Okay, so he's a vassal of mine. I could give him this, or we can keep this for ourselves. Um, just because it's our own state. I mean, technically, Malia is as well. Yeah, because it's, it's North Morocco. So... You know what? Just because it's a state, I think I might actually hang on to it. I could give that to the nobility. That would increase our force limit. And then Tangiers, um, we give to the burgers. Because you get a natural harbor. Okay. All right, let's wait for that war exhaustion to come down. In the meantime, let's take um, Edmontite 4. Let's replenish the troops here. We're out of manpower, unfortunately. Um, Castile distrusts me. Because uh, we didn't give any territory. Doesn't bother me that much, though, to be honest. I I'll take a royal marriage. Just to keep... Yeah, just to keep this guy off my back, I'll take a royal marriage. As for a contribution, demand diplomatic support. I can grant an admiralship. Okay, so you guys go back here, and then you guys protect trade in Sevilla. Okay. So that went that went pretty well for us, I have to admit. And then taking taking Fez, that was nice. Okay, we're gonna let that come down in the meantime. Um we're still trying to get the Renaissance here. We should get it eh, fairly soon. Fairly soon. Let's go and take yeah, we want to get up to tech five here, and then we definitely want to get that. Um Let's see, can I change my national focus anytime soon? 1464. Forward to glory, the last jousting. Wow, we got the last jousting tournament and like a um Oh wow, we have a 066. Okay. Yeah, I like I like the trade efficiency, but I actually think I need to swap over to some admin guy. Let's see, Portuguese noble rebels in Coimbra, Behan, Algarve. Let's get let's get this prestige guy. I think we need those points. At least until... At least until we can get... Um, we can change our national focus, which is in two years. Yeah. Yeah, so let's let that... Just just let that come down. Um, we'll take we'll take this for sure, because we're going to be ahead in Diplo. We got 100 legitimacy. Yeah, we're doing okay. Not bad. And then we got permanent claims pretty much in all Morocco. Let's see, can we let's see if we can grant a general ship, raise additional levies, that sort of thing. Demand some admin from this guy. I would like the contribution, it would help us pay off some debt. Let's see. Um does being a hand in tech give me a dev cost reduction? No. Not that I can tell, anyway. Let's 
Nazis, Portuguese noble rebels. That's unfortunate. Um, we could we could buy that down. Oh, navies. See, divert trade. Change the liberty by 30%. Subject must give 100% of their trade power to you. Does he have much? Well, I'll, I'll do it anyway. It's fine. Um, I don't think I'll enforce religion. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. At, l at least to annex this guy, we probably don't need it. To annex him, we probably don't need it. Let's rival Tunis. That sounds good. Tunis is probably allied to the Ottomans. No, he's actually only allied to Jareed. Wow. So we we can definitely um, attack Lemson sometime in the future. We definitely want to do that. So let's just get let's just get claims on him. We'll see if I can maybe release. We can actually probably fully annex him in one of these days. Wow, it takes some pretty serious aggressive expansion against the uh, the Muslims. Okay. Uh, let's see. These Portuguese number rebels are actually going to rise up. There we go. That's better. That sounds better. Okay, so it's recording. We can still do some development. Here. This is opinion. Ugh. I want this. I want to be ahead on Miltech. Let's swap over, though, probably to... I'm thinking Admin. We're going to need it for a while. Admin and Diplo, at the very least. So let's let's get this Miltech, and then we'll probably back off for a while. Um... Okay. We almost have the Renaissance here. One more, one more point of development should probably do it. Okay, we should be able to get rid of all those guys. We can annex this little buddy in 1471. It's about six years. Not bad. Let's take that. Let's take... Okay, so we got it here. Now we can swap over... Can I get it? Yeah, we need some money, though. Uh, I'll do institution spread, but, I mean, we'll probably just, um, well, I mean, no, I guess I could wait for it. I don't have to, though. We could just save it the money and just, just take it. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Things are going pretty well. Luis Cabral. Interesting. See this guy. We can't explore. Cannot explore. Okay. So, England has taken a lot of Scotland. Um, France is at war once again with England. Aragon is allied to Genoa in the Papal State. Oh, no, I can't fabricate on this guy. That's right. Yeah, hmm. That's a good point, because we actually still don't border him. So, Age of Discovery. Let's see. Portuguese colonial growth, settler increase. 
plus 50% for us. Portuguese colonial growth. We could do aggressive expansion impact. We could do transfer subject. War taxes cost. Um, plus one combat terrain and capital bonus. I guess I'll take this guy. We don't even have colonists yet, unfortunately. We want colonists. We want to get this for sure. So we definitely need to rush for these. In fact, I'm actually even willing. Let's, you know what? Let's actually grab that guy. We're going to get our institution a little less quickly, but... I'm willing to grab... I'm willing to grab that guy. Let's see. Let's pay off that loan. Okay, so we control this. Annex this guy soon. We'll destroy Saleh and the rest of these guys. We'll just... We'll, we'll pretty much take all of Morocco if we can. Um, Lemson is also a target. We could almost exactly fully annex him. Morocco's unfortunately too large. The real question is, should we expand Fez? Nah, I don't want it. Yeah. Should we use Fez to expand or no? Um, truthfully, I, I would actually like to have a lot of this territory. I wouldn't really want to... I don't know. It's a hard question. When's this truce up? In 1473. So we can annex Fez either before that or after that. Considering that he's Sunni, it's probably not a bad idea for us to keep him around. But I don't know. Hmm. It is a good question. It is a good question. See, Castile as allied Venice. Okay. Let's see. We could go for some power projection. We can insult somebody. Like Aragon or something. Okay. Could do. We could insult Morocco. Tunis. Okay, so we got 15 power projection from that. Um, could I take some loans? I could. How much would we need for this? 816. If I did like two loans, we'd be able to get this a little faster. The, advi the advisors are expensive, too. I mean, buying down inflation as well, but we want this tech, so. We don't really just want to willy-nilly do that. How are we doing on technology, actually? It's a good question. Let's actually take a look uh, at our technology compared to everybody else. Uh, apparently, Aragon's doing really well. Holy shit, he's got 566. Ottomans are doing very well. Um, we're actually, yeah, we're, we're not that great. England's fucked up, though. They have a 344. Because four. they're only generating zero points a month. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Let's get a royal marriage with, uh, with this guy. Let's see what happens there. France. Because we have some, we have some relationship slots, so we can kind of play with, play around with it a little bit. Yeah, this guy's, I mean, this guy's 46 years old. That's, it's not bad. Desires of the flesh. Oh, Fez. Holy shit. Sorry, Fez. Fucking nobility, man. God's law cannot be broken. Not even by a pope. Uh, let's actually go and ask for this contribution here. Let's 
see. Father, your will be done. We get 10 papal influence for this. Clergy estate gets 10 loyalty, and then our philosopher will die. I think I like the admin, though. I think I like the admin though. Really? Got a zero one one two. It's unfortunate. Aragon will lock you. Lock you apparently has got a disputing succession. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know whether or not we should expand Fez or like release somebody else. We've got permanent claims in this territory anyway. And we didn't have that much of a problem with rebels. So I'm actually curious about just you know, just kind of annexing him and calling it a day. Well. Huh. Okay, we can almost get this. 29986. 299.69. Lost our claim on Gibraltar. Let's do it. Okay, so we got our... Okay. Okay, so we got our institution. So we can get that now. Let's go for exploration. So now we need to rush exploration, but we're ahead on tech for military and uh, diplo by eight years. So, not too shabby at all. And then we have Diplo Rep, which means we can annex this guy. Um, I think I will. I think we will annex this guy. And then we'll we'll probably just conquer the rest of Morocco ourselves, I'm thinking. Uh, this takes until 1476. Wow, that takes a while. Interesting. I mean, it's a lot of development. Seven of them in here, 13, and then 10. So, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not very small. It's quite a bit, actually. Legitimacy would improve our diplomatic reputation a bit. Actually, yeah, yeah, okay. That shorten it at all, 1476. Yeah, not really. Okay. Can't hurt, I suppose. Okay, so now let's grab. We want. Um, let's get more inventory. Let me get one more of these units here. Our manpower cover speed is terrible. It's 157 a month. That is just ass. So if we wanted to build one new regiment of troops, it would take nine months or more. Maybe eight. Eight times like 15. Hmm. And then we need to rush this for sure. Just rush the shit out of that. Oh. Um. Yeah, sorry, Pope. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one. Upset the Pope. Jesus lived among beggars. Why can't you? This guy's actually pretty friendly. He's already had that royal marriage with him. Yeah, we may be able to get an alliance with France. Not a bad idea. You know what? Fuck the Pope. Let's actually... Yeah, let's see. Can I get an alliance with France? Let's keep keeping privileges here. Yeah, an alliance with France? Not a bad idea at all. Not a bad idea. Let's see, so why why does Castile only have 28,000 men? Seems really like a really small number. What the fuck did Castile is allied with Tunis? Why? Why? 
What is happening? What is happening here? Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we can attack this guy again. I mean, the real question is, do we need to, do we need to call and cast steel again? So, Marco's got 10,000 plus allies. Lemson is 10,000. We have, well, we did have Fez. We don't, yeah, do we need debt? He's got debt? Really? We can't, we, we don't have enough money to pay off his debt. Holy shit. We are broke. You know what? Maybe maybe I should have expanded him a little bit into this area here. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We actually probably could give him this stuff still. All we should do is just attack Saleh. Castile will not join them. Yeah, trust mine is 15. So, so Castile won't join me anyway. But we've got... Um, wow, we're actually on equal tech compared to those guys too. Fuck. I'm willing to bet that we can beat this guy. We'd probably be fine. But as long as we just... Play to our forts and play to our strengths. I think we'll be okay. Hmm. We are in a manpower, though. You pull that. Okay, new World Charter. I like that Diplos we can advance here. Okay. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll probably attack. We'll, we'll probably attack, um, I think. And then, as long as we play to our strengths, I think we'll be okay. We've taken a lot of the mountain forts. Yeah, Marrakesh. Yeah, I think we'll be okay fighting against this guy. Should be all right. Or we could wait in for a little while and see if... Tunis will attack Lemson again, which is likely to happen. I'm assuming that's likely to happen. We also could use a little bit of time to have this aggressive expansion burn off. So let's actually go ahead and wait. Yeah. In the meantime, though, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.